Hi there, Meg's here. How's everyone doing today? So today I just have a quick, quick video. Um, just continuing our cheap and easy last minute gift ideas. And um, this one is a really good one. Um, this is the last one that I learned and that I'm using um, from the YouTuber called Lyric Lover. Um, I will link her videos below. Um, I did a video, or the last two last minute gift ideas I watched from her. This one I've changed a little bit to my own. I, I do them all in my own style. But um, the last one, oh sorry I lost my train of thought. This one is um, their quick and easy notepads. So let me show you the different kinds of notepads you can get and what I've done with them. These come in a three pack, don't mind him, you guys. <laughs> First of all, welcome if you're returning. Um, as always, I love you so much. If you are new to my channel, uh, I'm a little frazzled today because I have a very short time, my lighting's off, and you know, ever, nothing really seems to be going my way today. So, <laughs> you know, but I'm glad you're here. Um, and so stick around, and we, this will not take long at all. So these notepads come in a three pack. This is the size. You can get them in a three pack at the dollar store for a dollar, or you can get them in a three pack at Walmart for eighty eight cents. I pr prefer the ones from Wal excuse me from Walmart. These are from the dollar store. They don't have anything right here. The Walmart ones have this because they're Pen Gear brand, and they have this, and I actually like that because I like to cover it, and I think it's cute. So I'm going to be using my last Pen Gear one. And again, this will cost you, if you already have 12 by 12 paper, because you will need some 12 by 12 paper, um, if you don't have 12 by 12 paper, you can always buy it open stock for, I mean, Hobby Lobby sells it for like 25 cents all the time. So this would cost you a three pack and then 12 by 12 paper and some glue. Um, we're talking 30 cents for each one. I mean, come on, that's great. I mean... It would be about 50 cents, I guess, give or take, for each one of these. So this is a very, very inexpensive gift for those of you who don't have a lot of money, but you want to give your co-worker something cute or you want to bring something to a party. This is cute. Or this would be perfect added on to any gift that you're already giving. So, really quick, it's also a good stocking stuffer. All of the above. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take one of, the, from, of these paper packs from the three-pack Okay, I've chosen the pen gear kind today. And then we're going to, I have to keep this paper here because of the massive glare. This is the 12 by 12 sheet of paper I'm going to be using today. Beautiful, it's from the Mariposa paper pack. Um, yeah, just really pretty. The thicker the card, the better. Um, this is a medium weight. I mean, it's thick, it's on the thicker side, but it's, uh, you know, it's not super hella thick. But, it, you know, the thicker the better because what we're going to be doing is wrapping our basically wrapping um, our card around this and making it into like um like I think uh lyric lyric lover calls these wallet notepads or something like that. So I guess I could have showed you what how mine came out. I don't want to show all of the ones that I did because I will be doing a recap video where I show everything that I've made for the Christmas series. So this is one of them. Okay, and there's many, what I played with when I did this that's different than hers is that I tried different closures. This is the closure that she showed on her video, I guess it'd go like this. And um, so basically it just comes right off and, and then it opens up and I added the pockets. I don't think she put pockets in hers. Uh, I could be wrong, but I don't think she did. But I added a pocket there, a belly band on the side with a little note that says Love Meg, so they know it's from me. At the party I'm going to, we're doing our family Christmas uh, party where everybody just brings a bunch of stuff and uh, fills up. We fill up um, our stockings. We everybody brings their stockings and they're hung up and it's just really cute. So, anyways, I'm bringing these and so I, these have pockets and then see where the pen gear. Um, logo was and the little cardboard piece I was able to add more of this adorable paper it's beautiful paper and then it's just a really cute notepad so and then I really liked how this was shiny on the side so you can use double-sided paper and have it you know beautiful on that side too 
and then I closed mine like this. I did my corners, and then for this is the closure that Lyric Lover showed, and you just take it and you slip it back on. It's it can be a pain in the rear. This is not. This one works out pretty good. Um, but I did do a couple of other closures. One of them is still drying, so I don't know. This is the a closure I just did, and I tried some different glue too because I used this foil background here. Now, if you use um, the three in one, which is my favorite glue and what I use on everything, on anything with foil, even if it doesn't necessarily touch the foil, even if it's on the back of the foil paper, it will take that foil off. Um, which is something like the acetone in here or whatever. It's just very sensitive. Foil's very sensitive to it. So I used the Crafters Ultimate Glue, which I really like, and I got it Hobby Lobby. I've, I've been using that for a long time, too. It's a thicker PVA glue, um, but I don't like what it did to it. It didn't, it didn't take off the... Um, foil but it left these weird indentations and I don't know I just didn't like how that glue settled in on this either but this is cute nonetheless it it just left these weird marks where I put the glue down so I don't know foil is weird you're best you're better off using foil glue for foil <laughs> so this um this closure I I glued this part on instead of making it you know able to come off and then I put on I hopefully it's dry because it wasn't dry a few minutes ago and I ripped the whole thing off oh I just did it again okay so I put velcro on here and I realized that I'm gonna have to put my Fabri-Tac on this because that crafters ultimate will not work with these velcro pieces these velcro pieces are just too um, strong for that crafters ultimate it's just ripping the whole thing apart. So I'll have to work on this one a little more. I'm just going to glue this on real quick while I think about it and I'll let it glue. So here, anyway, this is going to be, um, oh boy, what a mess. This one is going to be the Velcro one and I didn't put any pockets on in the inside because I wasn't sure what was going to happen with the Velcro. So let me just make sure I got the Velcro on right. Yep. I'm going to let that go dry. So that's one option. Okay. And then... The other option is, oh, I already showed you that, I already showed you that one. Um, here's the other option. This one I love. This one is probably my favorite. This one I did with magnets. Oh, look at that paper, you guys. It's gorgeous. Two different papers from the same paper pack, okay? And again, I took this piece right here that I did my, like, a belly band type deal. I glued that onto this so it is a part of it. You can't take it off, but I love that. And then I just made, added a magnet. So I put a magnet right in here, and I put a magnet right under here, and they're very strong magnets, and I love it. It it just works out really good and then I added some corrugated cardboard and then I stamped out a little elephant head if you can see that and put that right on there and it just works out so pretty this is the inside with the pocket there and then again I got to cover the pen gear with that and then on the this side I made a double belly band so there's a belly band here and then there's a belly band on top right here and then I have my Love Mag just on a scrap piece right in there so they can see that when they get the book. And I just love it. I think it's so cute. This one's definitely my favorite so far. So this is my own idea to use the, um, the magnets. But the thing is, the magnets don't look good or don't work for everything. Like, if I want, if I don't want this whole thing, thing covered with another piece and I want something to come off well then obviously well you could still use a magnet you would just use it on the flaps um, and then cover up the flaps but there's just so many things you can do so um, but I will tell you that this even though it's a pain in the ass or this sorry pain in the butt to get off um, that it's not really a pain in the butt. It depends on how tight you put it. It can be, but it's not that big of a deal. And it really is the go-to. Like, if you're making a bunch of these, you're probably going to want to do this one. It's the fastest. You can knock it out really quick. And that's what we're going to do right now. Super quick. So, um, I love how I can just use up my scrap paper for this. So, right now, 
I will also tell you really, really quick that it is so much easier if you have a cutting board or something with measurements underneath, like this glass mat that I have that shows the inches, and I'll show you why in one second. First thing we're going to do super quick, there's only a few steps, is cut this piece of paper and we're going to leave it 12 inches wide and we're going to cut it 12 by a little over 8, just a little bit, maybe 8 and a quarter. Um, maybe a little less than that. I know my desk is full you guys. It's full so you're not going to probably see all of this cutting part. I am so sorry. <laughs> oh, silly. Okay, so let me just see. So basically I'm just going to cut, it, um, you're going to want, what did I say, 12 wide and you're going to want 8 and a little more than 8 inches tall. So, let's see, I'm going to go 12 wide, so tall is this way. Okay, just make sure your orientation is right. So this is going to be my orientation. Width is this way, and orientation is going to be this way. See how the butterflies are facing that way? Okay, so I'm just going to go a little bit over 8 inches, not quite 8 and a quarter. Um, I think Lyric Lover's measurements are 8 and a half. Oh, I wrote them down. Don't mark me wrong. Uh, this isn't her video anyway, so I guess it doesn't matter. <laughs> just watch hers if you want to learn her way. Okay. I found that just her measurements gave me a little bit too much to work with. And I wanted mine a little bit smaller. Okay. So, this is what you're left with. 12 wide by 8 and, we'll say 8 and a quarter tall. Okay, and eight and a quarter might even be a little much. Like, see, basically this notepad is eight inches, and you just want a little bit more than the eight inch. You know, you just want a little more than the notepad. You don't want the notepad to be flush exactly the size of this, because then it can get bent up and stuff. You just want it a little bit more. So you want that notepad to fit right in the middle with just a tiny bit of room here and a tiny bit of room at the top and that's perfect this is perfect so a little bit over eight inches now this i'm going to show you the easy way to do this you're going to take your paper make sure your orientation's right you're going to flip it over so the white part's showing now here's why i said to have your glass mat or whatever kind of cutting mat that has the um now if i take this white piece of paper away it's going to be crazy glare from my lights so i'm going to leave my white paper on here however i'm going to try to show you a little bit there we go. Do you see my measurements down here? Okay. So basically, just ignore the big white paper in the background. Focus on this one if you can. I'm going to line this up so it goes to the zero, okay, right in the corner here. Oh boy. Let me let me show you. Sorry. Right there. Okay. So it's going to measure. It's way down here. Okay. I'm going to line it up perfectly. I'm so sorry, it's just so hard to show you with all these lights and everything everywhere. And then you're going to, you know, it should go down to the 12, okay? Let's see if I can get you. There we go. Okay, so you got it lined up. Now we're going to put something on top of it just to hold it there and make sure, you know, I'm going to have to move this. Hopefully the glare's not too bad. Okay, so now we have it. Okay, so we got our zero. It's lined up here. I'm going to put something there, paperweight or whatever. I'm just using that. And then line it up so it's straight at the bottom. And you see the 12s over here. So there you go. Now, now if you have that and your measurements at the bottom here, that is perfect. Okay, now you can just do this very simply. And if you don't have a mat, don't fret. I'll just show you how to do that in a minute. Take your pen gear or your notepad. Count in three inches from the 12, so at nine inches. One, two, three. There's the nine inch mark. You put your right corner, your right lower corner, right at that nine inch mark, okay? And lay it down on your, on top. Just like that. Right at your nine inch mark. If you don't have this mat, take a ruler, mark three inches from the edge. Count one, two, three inches, or, or go to... 12 to 9, mark 9 inches then, and just put a little mark there with your pencil, and then you're going to go ahead and take your the edge of your corner and put it right there at the 9 where you marked. Simple, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. That's how I do it, and now we're just going to hurry up and glue that on really, really quick. 
I know I'm in a time crunch here, so I want to show you this really fast thing since I have three more things on my list and not a lot of time to film it before Christmas. So, <laughs> I don't think, I think we're going to knock out, for those of you who have been following me, I think we're going to knock out the Christmas bulbs, or um, ornaments. Um, it's a little late to be doing ornaments. <laughs> I thought it would be a cute idea because I thought it would be a cute gift you could make grandma or whatever. And I might do it. We'll see if I have time. But yeah, time got the better of me, I guess. Christmas is crazy. Okay, so then you're just going to push that down. Okay, once you, I'm going to probably have my head in frame. Hold, hold on, there we go. Once you look at that and you think, okay, that looks perfect, and which mine I believe does, it's in, in those one, two, three, four, five, there's five inches between four and nine. That's where you want it lined up. Those five inches between four and nine. And that will give you a perfect, perfect you know, crease and everything. So what you're going to do really quickly, we're almost done, believe it or not, you're going to burnish down with your bone folder. And I'm going to just um, yeah, bring this up a little bit um, and cover this. We are almost done. This is probably one of the fastest things I've ever made. And like I said, one of the most economical gifts you could give somebody. It's homemade, it's adorable, and it's the cheapest thing I could ever come up with. Well, I didn't come up with this, but, you know, it's one of the cheapest things I've ever seen, or ever made myself. Sorry, I'm <laughs> tripping on my words, can you tell? <laughs> so there you go. If you want to turn it over and give it a quick burnish and just make sure it looks good there. Um, I'm going to do that, just one, two, once over there, and then, oops, see, it's perfect. Now what you're going to do is you're going to flip it to the side, and you're going to work that edge over, just like this, you're going to start working it over. I like to hold it down with one hand, and just work that edge, get it, get it, get it, there we go, and then you're just going to, once you get it all the way over, like that. Make sure it's straight, of course. You want it to be lined up with the paper behind it. And you're just going to give it a good crease. Then you're going to take your bone folder and you're going to, well this is what I do. I, I mark that edge with my bone folder and kind of get it nice and squared off because it's going to look a lot nicer when it's, you know, as squared off as you can get it. And then I'm just going to just keep working it. Keep working it, girl! Work it, work it. <laughs> All right, now we're going to turn it over. Told you this is easy. And we're going to work the other edge. One more edge to work. Just like that. Oopsie. I think I might have moved mine out of place. But that's okay. Nothing you can't fix. Hold on. I'm going to work this real quick. Let's see. Work it, work it. Mm. Yeah, there we go. Yep, and then I'm going to kind of crease my edge a little bit. That's what I like to do. And then it gives me nice sharp edges. Oops, <laughs> don't do it too sharp. Okay, and don't and be careful doing your cre doing that because you could mess up your edge. You know, right here where there's nothing there. That's why I don't like the paper too much bigger than the pad because then the edges get all creased in, and that bothers me. But okay, so that is what we have. Uh, this one didn't come out super even like my other ones did, of course, because I'm filming. But that's okay. You know, it always goes like that. Okay, so now that we have that, we're going to take our, um, let's do our edges. I'm, I like to do the scalped edge. So rounding your edges, I totally um, suggest you round your edges. It makes it so much prettier. I do the scalped edge. If you have a scalp edge, that would be cool too. I did all of mine in scalp, and I think it looks really cute, really quick, and then... I also ink mine, my papers, 
but that's just a per personal preference and I'm not going to do it on camera because it's a waste of time and I need all the time I can get right now. So if you want to ink around here, you can do that. Now I will show you how to make a pocket for in here, but let's do, uh, let's do real quick, let's show you how to do the, the band around. Okay, so what I'm going to do for my band is I'm going to take two inches by 12 inches. So I'm going to use this pretty butterfly paper and um, we're going to quickly do two inches by 12 inches and this is the last step. So, oops. So let me see if that'll look right. Yeah, I really like this. Okay, so I'm going to cut off, keep it 12 inches long. Oh, let me see which way I want to go. Yep, 12 inches long and then just cut two inches. So you want a two inch band. So I'm just, I'm not going to bother bringing my cutter over because I want to be quick here. Um, and I'm just going to cut myself. I'm going to cut off. Um, I'm going to cut it two inches, two inches in length. I'm just looking to see where I want to cut. Okay. So, yeah. Okay, <laughs> I got flipped around, sorry. So real quick, I'm gonna cut off two inches. Try to cut it really straight. Okay, there we go. And then what I suggest you do is the same thing you did when you put on your, I mean, you could just line up easily, eyeball it. It's not rocket science. But if you have a hard time, you could just do the same thing that you did to put your paper on. You could line it up at the edge, go four inches or four and a half inches up if, to make it center. And then, because you're going to want your left side a little longer, just like this in, on this book. And then you're just going to pull this over to the nine again, and that'll make it even. Hopefully that made sense. Honestly, I just go up to where I want it. I put this right here at the edge so it meets. Then I just wrap it around just like that. Wrap it around till I get just like that. And I'm not, you know, it's not always perfect, but yeah. And because you have that book in there, it is thicker and it's not going to be right at the edge here and here. So you're going to want to take this about a little bit, maybe like a, an eighth, a little more than an eighth of an inch, maybe a quarter of an inch let that show a quarter of an inch and then that way it's more even on the outside there we go where it's actually going to show okay so there you go so now we have this and again we're going to crease that and bring it in as much as you can there you go crease it okay get nice and tight I'm going to turn it over sideways. I'm going to crease this side. I just basically want it nice and nice and tight. And I'm just going to show you the way that Lyric Lover does hers because I'm sure if you're watching this you can figure out how to put on a magnet. Okay, if you're using a magnet at this point, what I did was I put the magnet under here Put it right there, covered this, that concealed my magnet. I put the other magnet under this flap that concealed my magnet, okay? If you want to use uh, this Velcro, you just put the Velcro piece right here, make sure something really strong is holding it, like Fabri-Tac, and then the other Velcro piece there, okay? And then for this one, what we're going to do, even though I really do like the magnet, it just takes a lot longer and I don't have time. So what I'm going to do is just show you her, how she sh showed to do it. And that is making sure this is very, very tight. Okay. You want to make sure this is very, very tight. And then you're just going to glue it. Glue this band together. There's my really quick. So I'm going to lift it up. Again, I'm using Fabri-Tac, or 3-in-1 Beacon, that's my favorite glue. And there's not really foil on this purple part, so. And I'm going to pull it very tight. The tighter, the better. It may seem like, why are you doing it so tight? you got to take it off, but honestly, it'll loosen up over time, so the tighter, the better. And there you go. And now you're just going to, well, give it a second to set up, because you don't want it to come off. So let's just let it set up for one second. 
Okay. One, two, buckle my shoe. Three, four, shut the door. Do, 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 do. Okay, good enough. <laughs> there we go. Mm. Okay. My nails are a mess. <laughs> Hopefully, didn't focus on them too long. Okay, so now we are going to pull this off carefully. I recommend waiting till it dries till you pull it off. But um, I'm going to try not to struggle too much because we did do it extra tight. There we go. Pull it right off, okay? And set it to the side because we're not done. So it looks like this. Because what you're going to do basically is you're going to. This is what we have. You're. We just glued it on like this. You're going to take it off, turn it around, and then put it on this way so that the crease is not in the front anymore. Okay? But let's let's finish the inside. Now this is my little idea for this. To spruce it up a little bit on the inside, we're going to put a pocket here and a belly band here. So last thing that we're going to do. So for our pocket, we have this scrap piece left that we had. Now, I usually do a pocket that's like this. And it's like a corner pocket and you just cut it so but now I'm looking at this and I'm thinking well my butterflies go this way so I could make a stacked pocket if I wanted to like um, you know just a pocket with a pocket here and then another pocket here because these butterflies go this way but you know what maybe I don't have a lot of time for that so maybe I'll just do um... <laughs> Where's my other uh, paper? So, um, sorry. I don't know what I did with my other paper. That's weird. Okay. Uh, the butterfly paper was around here. Huh. Well, the first thing is locating your paper. <laughs> and I just had it. So, hold on. Give me one second. It must have fell on the floor somewhere. There it is. Okay. Yes. We're going to use this. Okay. So I'm going to do my pocket in this. And basically what I'm going to do, this is about four inches. Um, this area right here is around four inches. I go a little less than four inches and then it's eight inches tall. So I'm going to cut off uh, a little less than four inches, three and some, um, almost four inches wide, a little less than four. And then I'm going to go to about uh, I never go all the way. I don't really measure this part. I just cut it. So you can go to like seven and a half by three and three quarters. That sounds about right. So I'm just going to go ahead and eyeball that right here and cut it. And cut off that scrappy edge there. Okay, so we're going to go four inches this way. I'm going to go three and three quarters inch, a little less than four, and, and then I'm going to cut a little bit off the length, let's see, that's, um, that's a little too wide still, so yeah, I definitely would recommend maybe three and a half inches wide. Just play with it because I'm not good at, at telling you exact measurements, to be honest. I'm, I've never really been good at that. So, um, Unless they're written down or, or, you know, unless I have the measurements right in front of me, then I can. But Okay, so let me just do one more thing here. Um, that looks about right. Seven. And I think that's going to be perfect for what I want. Yeah. And don't worry about this edge. We're going to ink it really quick. So there we go. That's what I want. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to scallop this edge, the outer edge, to match that. Then don't worry about all this. Now we're going to take some ink of whatever color you decide. I'm going to go for the sapphire blue because it's pretty and it's here and it's there's blue in here. So I'm going to go around my edges with the sapphire blue and that way anything that's like you know ripped up because that I accidentally had rips and tears oh I guess that's mixed with green oh well it doesn't matter um, it's gonna look you know intentional okay and now we're gonna just don't worry about ink in the top because you're gonna get rid of that 
So now to make that pocket, this is our last step, is you're going to, this is what your pocket's going to look like. It's the orientation. So you're going to take this and you're going to fold it down. Actually, let me turn it over and show you. You're going to kind of fold it down, but you're going to go in. So you're going to go like an L, kind of like an L, a backwards L shape, okay? So you're going to go down and in, okay? And then you're just going to, yeah, you're basically just folding that in to the corner, just like that, okay? Just like that. And then you just cut this off. Just cut this little flap off. And that's going to be your pocket right there. Oh, and I got all that ink on here. That's okay. I can take that page off. So then that's perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and just cut this off real quick. Use my big boy cutter right here. Um, try to cut this straight. I can barely see when all these lights are on. But they're not facing my cutter, so it's like, ah, it's taking all the light away. Okay, so that looks about good, I hope. <laughs> and then I save this for my note. And then, so basically, there it is. It's perfect. Now we're just going to glue that on. And look at that. Can you believe we're pretty much done? I just recommend inking the edges. So we're just going to glue this on really quick. This could be my fastest video ever. We're just going to glue around the edges. So put some glue lightly. Oops, I'm like really far away from this. So my arms are stretched out. <laughs> put some glue around the edges. I'm sure you'll do a better job than me. And there we go. And just line it up right there. There's your first pocket. That glue off my fingers. There's your first pocket. And then if you want to do a belly band, just take another piece. I'm going to use this. I'm going to use this one this time. Oh no, you know what? I'm going to use this for my pen gear. So if you have these pen gear ones, you're going to cut it at five inches long by one inch width. Okay? So five inches long. By one inch wide. That should be perfect. And it is. Well, you know what? I think I did it a little too big. But yeah, maybe I cut a little too, a little too big there. <laughs> yes, it's one inch. I just didn't cut one inch. I think I cut one and a quarter by accident because I can't see very good, but that's okay. Um, I'm just going to trim a little bit off. I'm done measuring at this point. So that's about an inch, right? Oh, that is exactly an inch. Go me. Okay, so yes, it's exactly an inch by five inches. So that's what you're going to want to cover up your pen gear. And then I'm just going to glue that on. Oops. Jeez Louise, Meg. <laughs> One thing's for sure. If it's not right up to my face, I'm not good at, at seeing. <laughs> so when I try to do this like far away, because I my chair is not pushed up close, I am a mess. Okay, there we go. So now we have our little butterflies there. Okay, of course this page, I'll get rid of it. I'll cut it out. Um, I mean, it tears out. It tears out. So let's just tear that out. There we go. And then, oh, of course. <laughs> there we go. So, yeah, you don't want to give dirty pages. And then, um, so now you have the pocket. And then we can do our last thing is our belly band right on the side. And I'm going to go with that pretty purple butterfly again and I'm just going to cut off about an inch and a half width by whatever this is let's see that's going to be around eight inches really yeah I guess eight inches by one and a half inches I'm going to use my other cutter, guys, because I can't see that one. So we're going to go 8 inches. There we go. And then we're going to go by 1 and a half inches. 
So let me cut off. That was eight, right? That's eight. Uh oh. Now I'm confused. Hold on. Eight inches. Yep. And then that's what? Eight inches? Let's see. Eight and a quarter inches. That's what that is. Eight. Okay, so it's about. Okay, eight inches. Sorry guys, I'm I'm having a hard time seeing this. Okay, so eight inches and then we're gonna cut it at the one and a half. <laughs> Usually I have most of my cutting done, but my husband's like, oh I gotta leave in a little bit, and I was like, you know what? Let me get this video done really quick because I'm behind. Okay, so what I like to do for just this last part is I like to put the scalloped on each edge because it's only one and a half inches. It's going to leave a little like this. Isn't that cute? If you don't have the scallop, don't worry about it. Not a big deal. It's just a little cute little thing I like to do. Oh, if it even works out because I'm doing it fast. Okay, and see it just gives me like these little notches but you don't have to do that, it's not a big deal. And then I'm just gonna glue it, top and bottom, quickly. And then we're all done. Can you believe that? If you wanna ink your edges, I suggest doing that. It really makes it stand out. And then the last thing, actually there's one more thing, really quick, that we can do to make this cute. So there you go, there's your belly band, okay? Okay. There's my belly band. And then I like to leave my little note. I like to leave my little triangle notes with my, this is for my scrap. And so I'll just, I get my little gold here and I just say, well, I like to put it in this way. So, love. Oh, that's a horrible heart, isn't it? Holy cow. <laughs> it's because I'm on camera. All of my hearts have been so cute so far, except this one. Okay, love. Megs. Oops. And then, it's family, so I gotta do the XO's. <laughs> and then you can just put that right in there. And there you go. And then, so there you go, we got our pocket, right there, nice big pocket, there, that's cute right there. You got your belly band, and then that shows them that there's belly band, because not everybody knows what a belly band is, so they might see that piece of paper and just think, oh cute, it's just a strip of paper on there, but they might not know it's a pocket. So I leave that in there. And then I like my shorter side on top, I like to fold it so that the long side's in and my shorter side is the dominant one. And then we can go ahead and put this back on there. And I find it easier to put this on from the bottom. If you put it on the bottom, almost every time I, I have an easier time. Almost every time. This could be the one time I don't because I'm on camera. But it, since we do it tight, it, it can, it's a little bit of a pain and that's why I was um, experimenting with other ways to close it, but um, because I'm like, who's going to want to keep doing this? You know what I mean? But, you know, it is cute, and um, once you start making a bunch, it is the fastest way that I found. So, Lyric Lover, you are smart for that. I'm sure she'll never see this, but she's smart for doing this. Okay, so one more thing to make this really cute. Let's find our extra cute paper. I have this one, and then I have this one. So let's just cut out some things. Uh, a circle here. Oh, my baby's up. I gotta go feed the baby. We are perfect timing. So we're gonna cut, cut this off here, and then we're gonna cut off a blue one and a smaller blue one. Where's my smaller bunch? Right here. I'm going to take my one inch and cut a circle. And then, there we go. And then I'm going to glue this one down. Just glue this on top. Oh no, I got Fabri-Tac on my nail polish. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> glue that down. And then the last, last part is I'm going to take a three-dimensional sticker, uh, piece of tape here. 
I'm going to cut it in half because that's way too big and yeah I'm I like to preserve what I can and I'm going to put this little dimensional sticker right on top uh, uh, this tape right on there and to take it off this is the very last piece I know it's like ah. um, to take it off because the, this for some reason I can never get this dimensional tape off I'm telling you it's so hard it's not like anything else I've ever used it's so sticky I use my Cricut if I can even get it I don't even know oh yep there it goes I use my little Cricut tool and no, I don't have a Cricut. I just buy the tools because they're they're useful in so many ways. So there I have my dimensional um, tape on there. And I add some more glue just for poops and giggles. And then I'm going to just put that right there like that. Look at that. Is that not adorable? There you go. All done. I did it fast. Isn't that so cute? Okay. I hope I was in frame the whole time and that the lighting is okay and bearable <laughs> but 40 minutes wow I mean I thought this was gonna be like a five minute thing and then I look at the clock and it says 40 minutes I don't know where the time goes and why my videos are so long compared to so many other people's I thought that was super fast okay but I guess it 40 minutes is a long time so I, I do not know how people craft fast <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me and oh I'm turning off my light sorry thank you so much for joining me I know you could tell I was rushed but um I hope you can give me the thumbs up and that you like go watch your lyric lovers video if you want to see her do this in a faster way and um she edits her videos so <laughs> and, and um yeah I love you guys I will see you in my next video bye